All right, hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is Creation Cool Fact number three. Hi, guy. Just wondering, have you ever wondered why all of your non-virgin friends snicker every time you're around? Just wondering. Meanwhile, I have some home brew. I gave it a good shake so that I get all of the yeast and sediments and stuff. And I have a wine glass. Hmm. You know, I might have pissed in this jar a few weeks ago. I don't remember if I washed it or not. But I... You really think I'm going to drink this? You really think I'm going to drink my own wine? Smooth! Bellow! <sighs> I think it needs another week maturing. And basically I want to talk to you guys about uh, something that I think is really foundational to the creation and evolution argument. You mean creationism versus science argument, and of course science won that argument a hell of a long time ago. And I mean to have another drink. <clears throat> yeah, baby. <clears throat> and uh, and why it's important again as well. Um, so, one time I had a friend come to me and uh, because I, I've always loved science and, and the Bible and... So which is it? You love science or you love the Bible? Pick one. And uh, I love... I've always been interested in sharing these things with others and, and teaching others about creation and that sort of thing. So. You mean creationism, not creation. Stephen Hawkins teaches people about creation. Occult, superstitious retards such as yourself teach people about creationism. Shirley, don't call me Shirley, this is obvious. I had a friend come to me and say, why are you trying so hard to reconcile your faith with science? And then your mother came along and asked, Son, have you ever wondered why I've never told you that I love you? And I thought, that's a weird question. I'm not, I'm not even trying to reconcile my faith with science because my faith and what we see from science match perfectly. Uh, yeah, that's, I believe that. Your faith matches science and therefore the evidence therefore it wouldn't be faith I believe it I believe I'll have no more of this I've had enough and uh, and that's something I want to share with you um, today so uh, we're in following creation cool fact moment so um, basically I believe in creation you mean you believe in creationism, not creation. Creation is Big Bang started the universe. Big Bang theory explains and describes when and how that happened. You mean creationism, which is, of course, a lot of bullshit. That is why you are spewing crap like a busted Texas shit pipe. I continue politely. I believe in God creating everything. So. so in other words, you are claiming that you believe that your gods created polio, cholera, Ebola, and hundreds and hundreds of terrible, terrible, horrible disease pathogens that have made not just humanity, but a hell of a lot of species on earth suffer and die in horrible, miserable agony. That is what you say your gods have done. Doesn't that make your gods vastly, vastly evil? Doesn't that make you a blasphemer? I am biased. I have faith. An evolutionist believes in evolution. 
I assume by evolutionist you mean people who work in the fields, the various venues under which evolution falls. If so, then the answer is no! None of them believe in evolution. Such an assertion is not only wrong, it is asinine. Scientists do not believe. Scientists accept tentatively evidence for the observed universe that is gathered and a conclusion made. Tentatively has absolutely jack shit all to do with belief. Belief is anathema to science. An evolutionist believes in a natural explanation of things evolving from molecules to man. No! You will not find any scientist out there that agrees with that assertion. Because it is wrong. <sighs> evolution doesn't work that way. Therefore, evolutionary theory does not state that it does. Therefore, there are no scientists out there who state that evolution went from molecule to man. That is not how evolution works. <sighs> Put down the Bible. Read a real science book, oh, I don't know, maybe on biology, perhaps, and discover what scientists really say. Golly, I bet you never thought of that. And everything else, um, and that's through mutations guided by natural selection. Among several other mechanisms. So an evolutionist has bias. Yes, scientists have a bias. It's called... Reality! An evolutionist has faith. If you mean by the word evolutionist, the scientist working in the evolutionary fields, then the answer is no, they have evidence. Stings, does it? Um, I have faith in God. And you've never known a woman. Why tell us? In his perfect word, he is the perfect, um, the only one that can be perfect. Hey, you two! Get a room! Ah. An evolutionist has faith in science and fallible scientists and in the unobservable process of evolution. And yet, evolution is observed every second of every day of every year, again and again and again, without let for as long as human beings have existed, evolution has been and is being observed. How do you justify your assertion otherwise? Because it takes so long for evolution to happen. No, evolution takes seconds, just seconds. That is why we observe evolution happening all the time, everywhere. It does not take so long. I have to say goodbye to the last of my terrible, terrible homebrew. So long!